24. Sean Lewis back with us in the home of the Aztecs, San Diego Sports 760. John and Jim Coach, great to see you earlier today with your press conference with the media. Officially, it is signing day. You have obviously a, a large class. When you go back to the early signing window, a couple of additions here today. How do you feel overall? I mean, you've only been on the job nine, ten weeks. How do you feel about this overhaul and this class that's coming in? John, great to be on with you guys again. It's good to see you as well. I feel great about you know, the, the guys and the families that we were able to bring and to make a part of our program. And, you know, a good chunk of them, uh, you know, joined us shoot at January here for the start of the, the spring semester as we're mid-year enrollees and added a few more today. And the rest of the crew will get with us in the summertime. But really happy with where we're at and, and really excited about the future and what we're building here on the Mesa. You know, first 10 weeks here, Coach, for you, what's been the most enjoyable part being a head coach again in you know college college football in here at San Diego State. Yeah, I mean just getting to know the community, getting to know the team, getting to know my way from our new home to the office without having to use my GPS. But <laughs> yeah. it's such a joy to you know be back in the head chair, to have the staff assembled, to have the team back here, and to be pouring into and serving these guys. I mean that that never gets old uh, to, to stand in front of your team and to you know, give them some guidance and equip them with tools that are going to make them successful on the field. But in life, I mean, it, it's really a, a true passion that we all have on staff. And, and and that is really the most enjoyable thing about what we get to do. By the way, spring football is coming. And then, of course, the season and season tickets are available. Go Aztecs.com. Sean Lewis's first season as head coach of the Aztecs. Season tickets available right now at GoAztecs.com. I asked you about this earlier, but for our listeners, I think the people are curious. I mean, it's a year-round sport. A lot of college athletics is year-round. What are the priorities now for San Diego State football? Yeah, the, the biggest thing right now in our first phase of building this 2024 team right, is to establish our identity with installing our culture and to get our guys physically fit and trained and ready to play um, with spring ball coming around the corner, right? So, uh, with this strength and conditioning phase, Coach Sobel really has, you know, is running point with the team. And the guys are training hard five days a week with some lifting and some running combinations. Uh, we actually got to get in the meeting room with our guys for the first time with, with recruiting coming to a close um, so that we can install the offensive and defensive schemes that we are implementing. Um, so right now, again, it's a lot of learning. It's a lot of teaching and getting the guys physically ready to play. So that as we transition here in early March to spring ball, we can then turn these great athletes that we're training into the best football players that they can be. Going through recruiting process here and signing day and all the players that you've brought in, you know, whether it be through the transfer portal or, you know, signing them to, to San Diego state for you, what was the method of your madness going into recruiting this upcoming recruiting season? Yeah, I mean, you, you first got to evaluate what's on your current roster and where the holes are. You don't want to have any sort of gaps in, in any position groups in terms of classes or competitive depth. So we really want to do attack, you know, those those perceived holes that we had within the roster. Um, and then for us, there's kind of a, you know, a deep evaluation process that we do. So we had to do a little bit of speed dating and, and work through that process very quickly in terms of identifying the young men at each position that have the physical traits that we're looking for to be able to play the game at a championship level, the way that we're going to in staff dragon stadium here. And, and then you got to make sure that you find the right guys that are made of the right things, right. That have the, the character components and, and are, are aligned around how you want to do it. That want to be developed, you know, that want to grow holistically. Um, so those two, you know, the physical evaluation, the character evaluation, and then you got to get to know them so that you know how to recruit them, so that you can close them and, and, and get them to be a part of what you're doing. So the staff did a tremendous job. We divided and conquered, went all over, but was really proud with the number of kids from California that we kept home or some California kids that went far and wide that we were able to bring back home. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that. Aztecs football coach Sean Lewis with us right now and John and Jim. We've heard so often, and I've heard it from you as well when you've spoken about Southern California. I mean, can you speak to it? You've recruited the whole country. You've you've coached all across uh, the landscape, including, of course, a Division One, a head coach at Division One, uh, obviously a coordinator in the Power Five this past year. When, when you think about uh, recruiting in Southern California, it, does it compare? It, it's right there with with any recruiting area in the country, is it not? Yeah, it, it really is. I think it's one of the most talent rich areas in the country. 
as he alludes, I've been very fortunate. I mean, to, you know, work all the way up in the, in the Northeast at, at Syracuse and now all the way down here in Southern California, right? So I've seen it all, recruited all the areas. And, and I think California is, you know, one of the few states that can actually be in the conversation for, you know, the, the, the greatest state with the best high school football. And, and California's in that mix and to have the amount of talent that we do in our backyard. I mean, you know, in, in the, the 10 weeks that I've been on the job, there was only one opportunity and one time where I chose to leave the state to recruit anyone else because mm-hmm. of the talent that is here. And the one kid that we left for, he, we were able to reel in. But other than that, I was able to, you know, just get in the car and, and drive up and down the coast and, and stay local and be able to have more than enough talent that's in our backyard to build out a championship roster. And that's really, really exciting about this opportunity here. Going into spring camp and games and upcoming season, your quarterback room, Coach, you brought in a couple quarterbacks here, uh, A.J. Duffy and uh, Danny O'Neill. For you, is there a leader in the clubhouse right now for a starting quarterback, or is this going to be a true open competition this upcoming spring here for the next uh, upcoming season? Yeah, true open competition. I, you know, besides, obviously, through the evaluation process, you know, I, I've seen them spin it during that and everything. But, again, it's something completely different to see a throwing session versus – knowing how the kid processes and, and is able to adapt to the speed of the game at this level, we, you know, when there's a three technique trying to come run through and, and rip their head off. Right. So yeah. a, until we kind of get into it and we start playing real ball, you know, there, there won't be anyone who kind of separates from the pack one way or the other right now. There's just a lot of learning, a lot of teaching that's going into it. Um, and it will be wide open, right. Not just at that position, but across all positions to where the guys who give us the best chance to win consistently at a high level, those are going to be be the guys that are going to play. Coach, one more before you go, just about the passion of Aztec fans. I know you've heard from people. I know you see it on campus. I know you've seen San Diego State basketball games, for example, and I think you've had recruits with you at times over the last handful of weeks as you completed off this 2024 class. What, What do you think about the level of enthusiasm and support that San Diego State has in Southern California? I mean, this community is unbelievable, you know, and, and and I can't go anywhere, whether it's on campus or within the community, you know, to just go get a a, a local coffee or whatever the case might be. But anywhere I go, you know, I'm I'm, I'm getting recognized. People are excited as all get out. And and I can't wait for all those people, you know, that have stopped me and, and told me how excited that they are to, you know, buy their season tickets and to fill Snapdragon because you can certainly feel the energy and the excitement within the community. It's truly second to none, and, and I tell you what, it energizes us and our staff each and every single day to make sure that our community is proud, you know, of the the product and, and that we're putting on the field, and that our football Aztec alums, the, the Aztecs for Life, uh, are extremely proud of the program, and, and that we 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 keep it that way. Final one for me, Coach. I love your social media game. Uh, applause to you for for everything that you've done on social media. I mean, you have enough stuff to worry about, but to to put out you know tweets and or you know whatever it is on social media every single day. I think Aztec fans really appreciate that. Tell tell me if I'm right or wrong here, because I've been monitoring your social media throughout all the recruiting process and transfer portal. Every time you've tweeted out a emoji with the sunglasses kind of uh you know next day you see a recruit commit to san diego state is that something uh that little hidden message in there for aztecs fans when you, you tweet out there it's always a good day when you get good players to join <laughs> your family. so there, there there might be a little bit of subliminal messaging there to, to alert everyone that some good some good news is on the way yeah and jim had the theory too when it was i mean you have a class of 30 or 40 players that when you had like multiple emojis that meant I was multiple like, players get ready for a lot of announcements maybe <laughs> in the upcoming future here <laughs> it's been it's been really fun coach it really has i mean i think for Aztec fans for the media it's been really enjoyable to watch the way uh, you guys go about your business uh congratulations on everything including wrapping up this 2024 class we'll touch base soon and best of luck as you get ready for spring football Thanks, guys. Appreciate all that you guys do, and go Aztecs. All right, Sean Lewis, head coach of the Aztecs.